Alright, today I'm going to show you how to install an HID kit. First thing you want to do is you want to move the headlights, which I've done in a previous video. Next thing you want to do is you want to get a drill a bit, some sandpaper. You take your sandpaper and wherever you're going to put your ground or anything like that. You want to sand it down so it's a nice clean surface to ground to. Okay. You know what you're going to do? You want to drill your hole. It's a little bit smaller than your Okay, then we'll come back when we're done drilling. I think you want to do the same process with the sanding and the drilling on both sides. So when we get back on this side, we'll come back. So next up we're going to do is we're going to get the, the ballasts and our screws and our and the little washer I use. We're going to get them mounted up in the holes here we drilled. Pull them down tight. Yeah, that should hold them. If you don't think they'll hold, you can always get it tied around or something if you feel you need to. Alright, we'll just... All right, next, you want to go back to the other side where you got the other hole drill. Drill your back in there. Okay, that's done. I want to go to the next step. Okay, so now that we got the balance is mounted on both sides, you got this one turned up a little bit tight. So you don't need... Mine doesn't need zip ties, but yours might. We're going to take the wiring harness piece here. I'm going to do... Mount it back here behind this. I'm going to drill through here and run a screw through and mount it back here so it runs up, up to my battery. And then we'll hook up our ground over here too after that. So, because okay, the wire length, the length of these wires and how much we have to stretch across, so I had to change it from, from back here to right here next to the AC condenser. So, we're going to put right here like that. And then what I'm going to have to do is just cut the power wire a little bit and add a little bit of extra wire to it and put it up there and I'll heat shrink it plus the battery and I'll heat shrink it and do all that stuff there. Okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little prongs in here and line them up just like you with a regular headlight. This one's gonna take a little bit more force than a normal one. Make sure you get the one right spot. See, take You know, see, just gotta push it down on there and go some place. Then we, if your HIDs might be different, but mine has the same kind of clips on the actual bulb. Until you find the notches, you twist it, and there you go. That's it. Now we're gonna put it in the ground. After you have your hole drilled and the, sand, the, the paint sanded away and stuff. And Nice and tight there. That should work pretty good there. And we'll go to the next. Since the cord is kind of short and can't get to where we want it to be, we're gonna make do. And we're gonna we're gonna put it right here. So we're gonna take this off. Alright, we'll get this off and come back. Now we got that off the ground. Let's over else. Sand it some. Just sand it some bare metal come through. Back 
Side you're gonna start on whichever headlight from whichever side you're gonna start on. Grab it, bring it over here. You don't want to start hooking up all your wires for the thing. I hook up pretty soft right, just round one. Two, going to here. Like that. It goes like that. There are two options on here. There are, see the little plugs? There are two options. One has one, one has the other. And You'll see what I mean when you do yours. Maybe these ones go together. Like that. You'll see the last one, and that hooks into this little square one right here. Get that one the right way around. Does that have the right way? Yeah, it has the right way. So I want to go in. There we go. Maybe stiff plug them together. And this one goes into this red one here. Like that. And it snap together. And then. You want to get your other bulbs in. Big blinker and marker bulb up here. Get that one in. There we go. And this plug you're not going to need because the HID plug is only plugging to one side of the old headlight bulb, the H13, which this one is. This is an H13, so this one can both these plugs can just be tucked away in the back back there if you install it. And you're basically going to do the reverse of the install, be careful not to pinch any of the wires. Make sure this paper is back so it's not caught in there. No, it's already stuck together. Alright. So if you want to look in there, you got a flashlight. If you want to look in there, make sure the clip gets where the clip is and the peg that hole is there. All together. Then get your bolts. Start putting the bolts back in. Then we'll go around and start tightening up all the bolts and we'll come back. This one all bolted in all the spots. It's nice and stiff in place. Go ahead and we'll grab our other one. Okay. Get okay, over here. I think of that one plug I was talking about, this thick one right here. This is what they call the H13 plug. This is what style of the halogen, or a different style of the halogen. And uh, it just plugs into just this one. Just like that. Plugs into just that. Okay. I'm going to do it this one right now. The marker slash blinker right there. Okay. You know, do the same thing on the other side. With your ballast and see there's there's the opposite again there's one of each on each side so clearly like this one's gonna go into this one right yeah okay let's we'll get together okay we'll just skip that one <laughs> and now we, there we go there's that one go back to this one the troublesome one problem child oh of course it starts to go in and push itself out ah, and that one's in and then our last wire. Where'd you go? I guess we don't have one of those on this side. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess you learn as you go, right? Oh no, it's over here. Okay. Alright. So then the other one, this little square one, actually doesn't come from the ballast. It comes from the, the wiring loom, I guess you can call it. This little kind of square, rounded top one. Square at the bottom, kind of rounded the top. That one goes together. You take this plug again and plug it into your ballast again, the red plug. Hit the snap. You want your shirt, get it hooked up. Take this thing out of the way that was attached to the top of your line. Okay. And then start slowly putting this in. What I'm going to do is that little notch right there. I'm going to run those wires through it like that. Yeah, I don't get pinched anywhere. And then the same thing over here. 
And make sure you got your clips in the right spots over here. Alright. You gotta grab your bolts just like the other side. Start bolting everything in. And then you get it all bolted in, we'll come back. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hook up the battery wire to it. Go to the positive cable. Oh, shit. My truck turning on. That's weird. Turn it off. Now back to taking the bolt off my hooded truck. That's weird. What? I don't I know why it's doing because it's a fucking. Because that thing, it's putting the cigarette lighter, mm -hmm. and the cigarette lighter is a constant power. It doesn't go with the ignition. Nah, so every time true. this comes up and down, it's turning the power on and off. My, I hate that so much. Zero has got a fucking constant power. So stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, Ford. <laughs> hey, well, at least Ford has a freaking has a drain plug on the oil pan. I mean, the transmission pan. How many other companies have that? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, so now that you got that in, um, what we did over here was we. So instead of having this straight now, we turned it a little bit because the wires were kind of getting pinched right here where I originally thought I could put them. They got a little bit pinched. There's room, but it was still a little pinched. So we um we just kind of turned it to give it more slack so it wasn't so taut on it. We did it, so save a little bit of room. And this thing, is both these, I don't think they have a spot anymore. So you kind of just lay them in there like that, I guess, on both sides. On so either side. Oh wait, there's spots. Never mind. I lied. Yeah, there's spots on both sides, so let's go back to the other side. Get that where it belongs. If you want to come around this side, maybe. Alright. So, yeah. Get these wires out of the way. These bolts actually do those spots, so there we go. The Chinese were thinking ahead when they made these lights. <laughs> okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some zip ties here. We're going to um, kind of clean it up a bit right here. Kind of get some of this up out of the way. Hanging down so much. This should be right, right there, like there. But this. These were the 4300 KV, I think, and I added a little adapter that makes them 20%, even 20% better than that. So we'll see how that turns out. Then I think everything else will be alright. Alright, so then we're gonna go away for a minute and try these out and see how they work and we'll come back. Blinkers work, everything? Turn on your blinkers. What? Turn on your blinkers. It is? Oh wait, never mind. Oh. <laughs> There you go. You good? Yep, you're good. Alright, there you go. And that's how you uh, install the HIDs on your, uh, as it's for the F-Series. General basic concept for most of them you're going to do, or the Ford or anything else you're really going to do. General concept the same. And uh, thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe. Thanks.